So exciting. What's up guys? I am in Korea, the southern one, at Gangan Sule, and today I'm gonna try out something I've been wanting to try forever in South Korea. Korean barbecue. Or here they probably just call it barbecue. And as you know, I love Korean barbecue, so now I get to try it at the source. First thing I noticed already is the barbecue grill is way different than what we have in the States. In the States, the grills are typically gas, but here they use real wood charcoal. If you've never done it before, next time you barbecue, use wood charcoal. The smell is incredible. Take a piece of beef, I have a steak here, dip it in my salt and sesame, and I have some uh, raw onions here, so I made a little sum out of it. So exciting. <sighs> Holy cow, that was one of the most glorious things I've ever put in my mouth. This is my favorite, I love brisket. Let's do the same thing. Dip it in the salt and sesame. Grab some onions, make it a little sum. Oh, I think one simple thing to make your Korean barbecue experience much better, add some sesame in there. That makes such a difference. Whatever you put in your mouth is gonna become more aromatic. Your meat's gonna have such a nice sesame flavor. And that wood charcoal makes such a difference. You can taste the smokiness of the wood in the meat. And the meat is so tender. You know in the US you kind of do your own barbecue, but here it's definitely full service. They cook the meat for you so it's completely optimized. And I'm sitting here filming and the lady's like, you gotta eat it quick otherwise it's not gonna be as tender. So every single piece of meat here is cooked perfectly. Now I'm gonna put my steak in a little salad, make a little sum out of that. Everything here. leaps and bounds better than anything I've had in the States. I mean, I should expect that because this is the source. This is South Korea. I'm here for Korean barbecue. But there's absolutely no comparison to how much this is better than what I had in the States. Like the little bunchons themselves. I mean, first of all, look at the size of the bunchon they give you. These are like literally meals. I could eat this and be full. And there's free refills of all of these things. So I could just come here, order like a small portion of meat and just feast myself on the bunchons. This is chop chai, mixed noodles. Ah, oh, it's delicious. Sweet, got the nice sesame flavor. A lot of sesame oil in this. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I think I'm gonna love this. This is chili banchan mixed with soy sauce, a little fish. Ah. Oh. oh, that's awesome. It's not really spicy, but it's got the nice smokiness of the pepper in there. Oh, and this mushroom they have on the grill. This is butter mushroom. When you bite into it, Oh, holy cow. All right, I, I, I don't think I ever said this before, but I might like a vegetable, or in this case, a fungi, as about as much as I like the meat. But this thing is crispy, it's juicy, and I'm telling you, it tastes almost good as the steak. I gotta tell you guys about the salad. Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying that either. I'm at a Korean barbecue place, I'm talking to you about salad. But this blueberry dressing, whatever this is, on the salad, holy cow. Can that count as my serving of food for the day? Last piece of beef. Oh, so happy right now. So happy. I need to order another cow. There needs to be more cow on that grill. Because one thing I do want to say, and this is kind of consistent with uh, almost every single Korean barbecue place I've been to, they don't give you a lot of meat. Because what I ordered for the first round, that was $40. And that literally was like five, six bites of meat. And I think I could eat like five of those. So it's definitely not cheap. Beef short ribs, and that's what this place is really known for. 
So I'm gonna take a piece, add some onions to it. I've been thinking about you for all so long. Come here. I don't even need to chew. When I'm old and I don't have any teeth anymore, I'll just come here and eat this coffee. This thing is so tender. I wanna eat a piece on its own. Ah, such a nice smoky flavor. Also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some Korean noodles on it. And this will be the first time I'm having Korean barbecue and Korean noodles in the same bite. I like that. It's kind of like having that little rice wrapper that they sometimes give you at Korean barbecues. And of course, in the noodles case, it's more flavored and it's better. I'm gonna try the other noodle. That's how I'm gonna be eating Korean noodles and Korean barbecue from now on. That's a really good combo. Because in a way, these two are like the perfect couple. They complement each other. They complete each other. I can still gnaw on these bones, right? Mm. Never waste meat. Oh cool, they just brought over this really awesome looking raspberry drink. Hmm. Wow, oh that's nice. It's like sweet raspberry juice. Mm. Oh. Oh, I like that. That was a great barbecue meal. Some of you might be thinking, well, you didn't eat a lot of meat, which I kind of agree. I could have ate probably five times what I had, but everything you saw in the shot, I was the only one that actually ate all that. But this barbecue experience was awesome. First of all, having the wood charcoal on these barbecues makes a huge difference. I feel like because of the wooden barbecue, the meat tastes better, everything smells better. Also what I noticed is that I don't see a lot of those giant vacuum suction-y things you find in all the Korean restaurants in the States. There wasn't actually that much smoke generated from this barbecue. Now I've had a lot of Korean barbecues in my day and this has been the most tender meat. I feel the staff in Korea are a lot more attentive. They literally cooked everything for us from beginning to end, make sure none of the meats were overcooked, remind me us to eat it if they see it, like if they walk around they still see it on the grill. Each plate of banchan is like a dish on its own and they all taste amazing. I'm not kidding, you can literally come here and just eat a meal of banchan. But that was so incredibly awesome. I wish I could just sit here and just continue to order more cows. I mean, just bring them on. Heard all the cows to this table. But we got a few more food places to hit up today, so we're just gonna leave it at that. According to my friends, one of the best barbecue places in Seoul, and I'll have their information for you guys in the box below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm gonna just move out of here. <laughs> See ya.